right. Oh my goodness, what a mess. I'm in a right faff. Oh, good god. How's it going? Back to. <laughs> oh dear. How's it going? I feel like I've, I've forgotten things. I was almost ready. I went to sit down. And because I've got this table that pulls up and out, it wasn't actually pulled up all the way. I didn't realise. And it, you know, I've, I've done this many, many times, to be honest. This is not the first time I've spilled coffee in this manner. But what it is, is like, it's, if it's not pushed all the way out, then it will, like, go down really quickly backwards the other way. So what happened was I sat down and I put my hands on the table and it jerked the table forwards, which, like, made the coffee like shake out of the cup not loads of it i didn't spill the cup it just wobbled you know like turbulence on a plane but it went like all over the my mouse pad and the bit there and it was like oh for fuck's sake i was literally about to just click change scene when it happened as well so it was like oh never mind but uh, well i'm just glad it didn't go on to my like playstation one and stuff that's like nearby or my laptop you know it could have been... I also had a cup of water on here as well, so it could have been a real disaster, but it's not that anything flew off and spilled, it's just that it shook. And the coffee was rather full. So, anyway, we're here. How are you? Let me catch up with chat. I'm all in a tiz now. Right. You asked me a question that I was going to answer, because I wasn't reading towards the end, so I was trying to get my coffee. Oh, treating yourself to a copy of Soleil, you should get on it, because it ain't cheap anymore. It's a good 10,000 yen at least, I'd say these days, 9,000, 8,000, something like that. I'd get on with it. Um, he barely made any progress. Oh yeah, James Pond was rough. It was too fast as well for my eyes. Hey Fishy Ash, how are you? A little bit of extra money once we play. You should get it sooner than later. How is MK2? It's got a great reputation and is pretty funny for a fighting game, but it might be real cheat. Oh, it is. This is why we're on uh, f almost five hours into this game because the AI is awful. Not a fan. Um, I don't have a lot to say about this game. I actually think there are two Mortal Kombats. There's two player Mortal Kombat 2, which is a good time with your friend. And then there's one player Mortal Kombat, which I think is actually garbage. <laughs> I think it's like, I would rate one player like two out of 10 and multiplayer like an eight, maybe. So, I mean, I've already made up in my mind whenever I finish this game, I'm scoring it a flat five because I can't. I'm playing this as a one player game and I can't. I can't use my nostalgia bias. I can't excuse how appalling one player mode is. I feel like even the first game was bad, but this is just something else. And like, you know, yeah, I'm aware that you, there's, you could get used to it and figure out a way, and, and I kind of have done, but am I having any fun? No, <laughs> you know what I mean? It reminds me of um, what I've just played, Cyborg Justice. I I learned how to play the game, but it was not any fun at all. You want to change your laptop in water? That's awful. It's awful. I I spilled a glass of coke on my Dreamcast once, and it was fine. This was like my original PAL Dreamcast years ago. Kintaro looks fun. You know, I think I've almost touched wood, got the hang of Kintaro now. I think I've almost got the hang of most of it, and I was looking at a video or two earlier, and it's really just, there's like, just, you see the same strats, it's such a boring game, like, people do the same stuff, it's like, I saw someone beating Shao Kahn as Johnny Cage on a YouTube video, and they just spam his kick move over and over and over again because the kick move with Johnny Cage knocks you back far enough so you can just do it again. Liu Kang's doesn't though, so if he blocks Liu Kang's kick, you're just straight in the range for a punish. Whereas Johnny Cage is like, he won't punish you, it looks like to me. And then I've seen videos you know, of like Sub-Zero, like freezing him when he's taunting and going in for an uppercut or whatever. But it's just blah. It feels like just 
don't know. Um, like I described it in the Discord earlier tonight when we were just talking about it just before I went live, but it feels like the equivalent of just fighting your own inputs. Like that's all you're doing, really. You're not really fighting any resemblance of a human or a pretend AI. You're just doing like um, set patterns and certain fights. It's like don't jump and whatever. Distract your can't talk as back seating. Um, I mean, usually I'll ask. And with this game, I'm kind of just in a place where I've kind of got my own strategies now. I think. I've read some information and stuff. The main reason I shy away from backseating is because I like to sort of figure out my way of doing things, which isn't always the same way that everybody else does. I tend to come to my own conclusions because some things like don't work for me. And also, I'm kind of aware that I could be somebody else, but I'm determined I want to win as Liu Kang now. Seeing as I spent so much time as Liu Kang, I could switch to Johnny Cage, I could switch to Melina and probably have an easier time with it, or I could do like Sub Zero for the final fight or whatever. But I think at this point, I'm pretty much like, I almost finished it last night, so I'm just gonna continue with what I was doing. And that's, that's my plan, if that makes sense. It's different from the worst fighting game AI I've seen. Yeah, I, I think this one, it has a reputation. I actually booted up Mortal Kombat 3 just to check that it was working because I might move on to it after this. And I just tittered about on the first level and it was so much better already. I mean, I still remember Mortal Kombat 3 being a bit bad, but it's like, um, Somebody else described it when we raided last night and they said like with Mortal Kombat 2, like they don't even give you the first fight, you know what I mean? They don't even let you like have a good time with round one. Like what's your, pro what's your problem? <laughs> you know? What I mean? Like usually the round one AIs are dreadful. So... There's more fighting game AI. Well, yeah, there, there, will, there will be if you dig deep. I'm sure you can find a worse everything. But the point is, this is this is Mortal Kombat 2. This is a hugely successful commercial release. This isn't the bottom of the barrel, time killers kind of dumpster made by people who don't know what they're doing. This is like, this is this is about as mainstream as fighting games get. Everybody, especially after the first one's success, so, you know, you kind of would expect a bit better, I think. I think, like, the general is more a case the character's being broken than anything else. What's the general? Is that human coat? I don't even know what it is. How's it not cool? Then again, I think a lot of AI is pretty bad, because replaying Street Fighter, whatever it was, the one that we did, the new champions, that was rubbish, honestly. Like, it was okay until the final few encounters, and then it was pretty, well, <laughs> I thought M. Bison was actually a decent fight. It was kind of exhilarating, but Sagat is just, it's, oh my god. Sagat is like Mortal Kombat 2. It's wretched. Right. He just sits there spamming projectiles and until you try and close the gap. It's exactly that, Barley Map. It's it, that's what it is. It's not necessarily It's like Cyborg Justice, though. Like we were saying, you know, like someone was saying, oh, it's it's not that hard. It's like, yeah, it's not that hard, but it's also incredibly fucking boring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, once you've figured out how, then yeah, it's not that hard, but it's also just like barely a game. So, I'm not having... What a great way to introduce the game anyway. Maybe if we finish this tonight and I make a VOD, shall I just cut all of that off? We hate Mortal Kombat 2. We don't hate Mortal Kombat 2. I certainly don't hate Mortal Kombat 2. I do think it's my least favourite of the three, though, just from this experience, because I don't have childhood nostalgia with the multiplayer and stuff. But um, I'm sure, as a two-player game, I'd have loved this with my friend, because I loved 3 and I loved 1. But again, didn't play them on solo much. We used to just play each other, which is how all these fighting games were. I mean, to a degree, even Soul Calibur, my best memories of that were on two player, but those games had much better one player modes, but they were later. Okay, let's uh, delve back into the, whatever they call it, the Never Realm, is it? The Over Realm, the Under Realm, Rumbling Free. 
And I think I'm just going to stick with Liu Kang. So let's start the timer. Street Fighter 2 AI blatantly cheats. Fight. I think sometimes the Mortal Kombat AI does cheat. I'm not, I don't know, maybe there's some technicalities about it, but they can... It feels like they can just... They can cancel your attacks and override them, even though yours kind of came out first. And if you're in close combat at all, they just throw through anything you're doing, and it's frustrating. I mean, like Kintaro, he's garbage. He will just counter throw everything that you throw at him, unless you manage to trick his AI into a block first. Which again is just like, okay, that's fun. Um. I'm gonna say oh I've said before like I swear sub-zero slide attack is supposed to stun you so that you can't move but the AI manages to duck my uppercuts it's like it's a it's AI programming to duck my uppercut overrules the stun animation but a human wouldn't I don't think the human could do that and it's kind of like the problem when you have these issues with AI, it kind of just cancels the move even existing. It's like um, Raiden's teleport that he just did there. If you do that as a human player against the AI, they just counter you with a leg drop. So it's like you're never you're never going to do that. You're never going to use that move. What a shame. Half your repertoire is garbage. Projectiles are shit in this because the AI will duck them. Fight. See, I'm just going to see if we can just play like a sensible person. See, it's like, how did he know? How did he know? The flawless ducking and jumping over your projectiles is just ridiculous. Stage fatalities again. I should do some of those. Do 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 do. This is the stream at MK Club. Probably not. <laughs> I've never done one. Not opposed to the idea, but I don't have the, don't have the technical setup for that. So we're talking across is the line. Are all projectile moves duckable? Um, I'm not sure about katanas. Maybe. I mean, you got a high and a low for a few for blue pang. Johnny Cage is a, is a weird sort of arc, so I don't know. Let's see, a stage fatality. Um, lower kick close, okay. Well, that worked. Maybe I wasn't close enough. The only thing I'll say though is I don't like I think Mortal Kombat 2 is particularly bad, but I also think it's it's just a it's a growing pain of this era. I just don't think maybe I think it's technical limitations because you know it's easy for me to criticize, but I'm not sure how you could 
program good AI? Probably at this point. There's only so, like, what are they going to do? Especially with the limited memory that they've probably got. They can't program all these complicated behavioral patterns. They, the, the, the simplest and easiest ways. They probably compromise with Mortal Kombat 2 for graphics. Like, they really couldn't fit it all in. So, they probably thought the easiest way is to just have it react to your inputs. It's very simple, I would imagine, compared to trying to make a sort of like semi-sentient attempt at an AI. I mean, I don't know, because I'm not a games coder, so I don't know how it all works, but I would assume that it's... it's Because I feel like it, it wasn't until the next generation that AI started to get a bit better. I think they had to with 3D, because they have... To, they have to learn how to move in a space, whereas this is just walking forwards. That's all they do. They just walk forwards until they're on you. Whereas the, um, you know, if you play that Soul Calibur and stuff, they sidestep and block and things like that. And they back off a bit too. And... Exploitable. See, I don't really like exploitation. I because that's. I mean, maybe there are ways. Maybe there. I've just never looked deep into it enough. But it's like my favourite fighters that I used to play, like Soul Edge, Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur 2, etc. Never really thought about it being an AI. I always was just trying different stuff. I never felt I got the sense of, oh, that's an exploit. I just played. Do you know what I mean? I just got on with that. Whereas, like, playing these, it's absolutely apparent, like, look at this shit, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's only because I've got a nice, comfortable diff distance that I can get away with that. And I'll always connect that bicycle kick if he's literally just tried to do something a split second before I release it. But I won't otherwise. You have to just hit them when they can't possibly move. Like, straight after being knocked over from a projectile. Which you shouldn't really be able to even do, but... You won't realise it's cheating unless you're super used to understanding of interaction. But that's the best AI. That's what I want. I shouldn't... Like, I'm not an expert fighting person, and I'm not a games programmer. I don't like the fact that I can see how fucking awful it is. Like that. He immediately fired that projectile at the start of the fight because I began by jumping backwards. If I hadn't began by jumping backwards he'd have done something different. It's just shit. I mean he's terrible because Bar Baraka will do that like that. If you try and jump forwards to him, he will do that with perfect timing, just that you land into it. It's, it's nonsense. So just don't, don't jump at him. This is a no jump fine. Why is there an MK2 symbol there? Right. I mean, I used to play Edge Master mode on Soul Calibur. It was fun, all the creative different ways to challenge. And they definitely had difficulties with AI. I feel like this AI is probably the same, regardless on what difficulty you're playing on. Probably blocks even more. Probably just goes into... You know how every so often you get a shitbag fight where it just blocks everything? That's probably just what very hard is. Maybe, maybe I'll give it a go afterwards, for fun. Well, all I'll say is that I... I, saw, I mean, a lot of you were here anyway. You saw me playing Street Fighter 2. It wasn't wasn't a, the, the best of time. It was fine until probably Balrog. I don't, I don't feel like I didn't mind Vega. Vega was okay, Balrog was a bit of a bitch, and Sagat's ridiculous. But then again, it's also... it's character dependent too. Because that being Chun-Li is terrible against Sagat, because she's got no gap closers. No projectiles. And so you pretty much need to just sort of jump, but... Sagat don't like people that jump. 
Oh. See, I can't move, and he uppercuts me, but the AI will fucking duck you. That duck that, I'll tell you that. Why is he being a plonker? He's on hard mode, isn't it? Yeah, he's on block AI, and I didn't pay attention. I should have stopped doing that. I beat Street Fighter's Chung Lee, though, and I'm proud of that. I like Chung Lee. It's just night and day. There's two different types of AI that it switches between, and it, I feel like it just pulls out the nasty block thing when you're on a roll. You know, not not a, not lost the credit yet. Time for the blocking AI. This is the exact same character, the exact same round, but different AI pattern now. Fight. It's the Shang Tsung AI. Is the blocking one. Finish him. What's this dragon one on board? Down, forwards, backwards, backwards, high kick. Yeah, there's no need to carry it into the home market. Even arcade, though, like, I mean, financially, yeah, it makes sense, but, like, good god. <laughs> Cruel. Play with a pad or a stick, no? Oh, a pad. Oh, she's on twatty AI. Well, I'm fucked then, because I can't jump at her. Because she'll counter it. Are you real, bitch? Like, really? Really? Can't projectile her. Fight. Well, maybe I can jump at her. Nope. Talking about the good things though, the graphics are lovely. It's a huge step up from the first game. Actually, a lot better than my memory of it. I always thought this was a weird mid ground one, but it's too far away from 3. 3 definitely has better backgrounds though, like the dynamic ones that you can punch up and stuff. Oh, start is blocked as well. I just wanted to pause the game while I chuck that coffee. Who the hell blocks with Star on a six-pound? 
finish him. It's solid parts nice for the arcade. There's a lot. I booted up three. There's so much dithering on three. Yeah, the first has got really clunky sort of animations when you look at it. Sometimes it feels like it's JPEGs, like Liu Kang's. Well, that's kind of the same, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, they look like they're sort of cut out in the first one. I should have set the first one off and had another go at it. Fight! The, the um the other world or whatever it is, the never world, certainly makes for a, a, an interesting location. The new characters are cool as well, like I think they really introduced a lot of bangers in this one. Like Jax and Kung Lao. Even Reptile is cool that he's in this one properly. Melina and Katana. Kintaro's rubbish though. Yeah, none of them have I don't think they've ever been considered that great though, have they? They are all just controversy, but you know, they're fun in that way. I mean, look at that animation of Johnny Cage standing there moving. It's pretty decent. <sighs> He's on block. AI. Yeah, the newer ones are more re better regarded for sure. But you know, have you played them? Because I tell you, the story mode on the new ones is fucking rough as well. I struggled to get through some of it. I finished the first one. I should stream it maybe for fun, but I'll get pissy at it. The, the problem I have with the story mode is um, you have to play as everybody. And you have to keep changing characters every time the story demands it. So you have to keep swapping constantly. And it's like you just... I don't know how to play as this character and it's annoying. All of a sudden you have to be like Jax. And it's like I don't know any of Jax's moves. Can't be asked to learn. It's kind of annoying that it's fixed in that way. But then again, I'm not sure how else they would have done it. I mean, if you're really good, if you, I mean, if you've owned the game and played it like we used to back in the day, like, and you know every single character, like, if they did that in Soul Calibur 1, I'd be absolutely fine until, well, except the occasional characters that I don't like, like Astaroth and Voldo. Mostly Astaroth, I don't like Astaroth. I'll play him, though, occasionally. I know quite a few of his moves, but I didn't like him. Voldo is fun, but too fiddly and weird for me to control. I like the idea of Voldo. Who else didn't I like? I was never that keen on Mitsurugi actually. Bit slow for me. Soul Edge. I think everybody, yeah. It's, I mean, Mitsurugi's alright, I just don't really. I don't like to be him too much. He's cool for ring outs. Fight! That impale and kick move. Maybe I shouldn't do more Mortal Kombat. My hands are all kind of hurting again already. It's, it's exhausting. I'm trying to think who I don't like now. To be honest, so Cassandra maybe. 
I feel like all I do is Cassandra's spam the backflips and the uh, stuff. Finish him. Ive is my main. Love Ive so much. I know like mo like all of her moves. Not really I've never been good at really combos though. Fight. Still wrestling MK2. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I wish my shoulder blades back well, it wasn't hurting. It's like I can't win. My knees don't hurt for once, but instead I have back pain. <laughs> Oh, how do I do it? I can never get this one to work. F backwards, forwards, forwards, LK. No. Still kicking, though I don't do so with Liu Kang's anti-gravity antics. It's great. Oh, we're at Shang Tsung. Fight. Shang Song wins. Fight. I think in Soul Edge I used to like C uh, Siegfried. Oh, how cool was that story? I fucking love those games. Siegfried turning into Nightmare and then him being in the next game. It was so good. Fight. That's how you do Shang Tsung Barley Bar, yeah. Because he won't accept any of Liu Kang's moves because he blocks everything. He's just trying to actually get the distance in the first place, and sometimes he changes into people that counter jumps, and then you just fucked. Fight. Oh, Jade. Are you real, bitch? Yeah, see, we can't do it now. Recently, he started jump kick countering me, like at some point last night, and it seems like he's doing it again. I don't, I don't get where this stupid this thing has come from. Calibre is a better game because of Soul Edge. Oh, absolutely. I'm still of the fine mind that the fine mind, the firm, <laughs> slightly biased sense that firm mind that Soul Calibre is better than Soul Edge, but I appreciate Soul Edge. B8 run in Soul Calibur changed. It's, it's one of the things that I love about the series, to be honest. And it's lacking, and it's, it's not in Soul Edge. Oh, piss off. Can't do anything. Can't do shit. But Soul Edge sets up all the lore. Stop being a twat! Finish him. K2 
kicking too early, but then if I kick too late, sometimes he's kicking me in the face instead. Ed Master Mode kind of sucked. Yeah, I liked the story. I liked Ed Master Mode, though, Soul Calibur. I liked the story. I liked unlocking the art. And I liked the slideshow that you got. But there was so much to unlock in Edge Master Mode that wasn't weapons. Like, it was really cool to unlock all the new levels and all the characters and the costumes and all that stuff. It was really awesome. But 2 was definitely. 2 had the better Edge Master Mode. Honestly, like, it's like. Did you ever play Soul Color before? How to like cancel the game for me? They remove like all the single player content. I'm just like, well, fuck you then. I tried to play it, but it was boring. Nothing to do. So I'm not playing online. I've no desire to play online fighting stuff. Yeah, Soul Calibur 4 has just got a. It's, it's got like a tower mode or something, and then just online fighting. It doesn't even have like a proper arcade mode with like decent endings. It's so stupid. Well, they, they, people whinged about it, and five brought it all back a bit, and uh, presumably, I hope six has it. I never bothered. Get to be honest, I got so soured by four. I sort of dipped out the series after that, and it was my favourite. I put so many hours into Soul Calibur one, two, and three. Three was incredible as well for for content. There was like a whole strategy war game in three when you make your own character and stuff. It was crazy. Finish him. Lose someone across the country. Exactly. I'm just, I'm not very competitive in that sense, and I'm also not that great at those games. And I don't have a good time being lobbied with a stranger who just, like, kind of beats the shit out of you in a trolley way. I'd rather play uh, somebody I know and have fun. I'm not bothered about ranks. <laughs> Do you have to be her? Stop playing the games. Oh, Soul Calibur 2 is so good. Honestly, you've missed out. They're really good games. So much content. Grandmaster Mode in 2 is is so cool. It's got all the like story stuff and <clears throat> things. And two introduces really cool characters. Like Raphael, he's so fun. Who else is introduced in two? I had it on the GameCube and Link was a fun character. I always thought the Todd the, the what's it Todd McFlarklean crossover was overrated. Neckboard was just weird. I don't like him. He doesn't fit the universe. And um I felt that way with Soul Calibur 4, like Star Wars in Soul Calibur was just fucking stupid. Yeah, it was, so, but it doesn't even match the universe. He's like a weird mutant alien thing in Soul Calibur, which is like, sort of, how would you even describe it? Like histor historical era, feudal. It's like a fe like the feudal world people, isn't it? It's like European feudal times and. It's all about weapons and armor and shit. Is Shang Tsung just gonna be a twat all evening? Because <laughs> I can't be doing with this. was introduced in Soul Calibur 2. Oh, Talim, but I'm not really bothered about Oh, Tira. Tira was introduced in Soul Calibur 2, and she's really cool. She's got... Oh, no. Wait, was she 3? I think she was 3, actually. She had a really cool weapon. The, like, ring 
blade thing. Finish him. I feel like three didn't yeah, didn't have as much. He replaces what no, um Oh, you're you're suggesting somebody. This is Huang. Is Huang not in two then? Who is it? Oh, did I not click continue? Oh, piss. That'll teach me to have a, a ponder for thought. <laughs> Oh well, we only had four continues anyway. That that was going to end up in garbage anyway. Right. Young Song. Hmm. Can't even think how he looks now. Let me check. Soul Calibur. Oh him, yeah, 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 yeah. He was whatever though. Huang's better. Is Huang into though as an unlockable? I don't remember. That. Baraka, please. Shang Hua. Oh, she's cool, though. She has really fun. Right. Talon was in too. She had the Tomfers. <laughs> that 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 owl in Soul Calibur arm. What was his name? Was it Edgemas? No. Alcazar or something. <laughs> what was his name? That owl. He's great. Witch Master was cool too. It's all color the one. Made him fight like Shang Hua, but he's most of the same as Suzuki and Edge. Killick is great. The song Mina, she's in one, isn't she? You've got the different. I think Cassandra's daughter is in Soul Calibur 2, or is that the transition from Edge to Calibur? There's Cassandra and Sophatia. Actually, aren't they both? Cassandra's in two, I think. Is Sophatia the original? I can't remember. Killick. Oh, yeah, but Killick's hot. <laughs> Let's be honest. And that, that throw, I used to love that throw. You know where he like stamps them in the back of the leg and like kind of half runs up them and jumps into the air and then throws the stick behind him back into them. It was so cool. That's what you want in front. That's why I never really vibed with stuff like Virtua Fighter because I liked the sort of just extra-ness of Soul Calibur. It was cool. Tekken doesn't even quite have that either. Soul Calibur just looks great. Ivy's moves were so good. I love the one where she likes kicks him down on the floor and wraps the sword whip round the neck. So good. Squirm, strangle. Finish him. So for Tia is original, Cassandra's in two. There was so much good luck. Mortal Kombat, I mean, just to, <laughs> to touch on Mortal Kombat, but that is one thing that Mortal Kombat does really well as well. The lore that they built in these games was excellent for the time, much like Eternal Champions. But like it was, that was something that Street Fighter didn't really nail. They had extended media, obviously, but I don't feel like Street Fighter quite ever really had that going from the games, but Mortal Kombat definitely had that. Mind you, I think Mortal Kombat was helped by the movies as well, in fairness. It was there in the manual, though. Finish him. 
tried Lord Wild. Yeah, I think Street Fighter got more into it later. With um, presumably Arkham. I never really played much past two. I'm never really super in that into Street Fighter. I think I've always preferred 3D fighters to 2D. Let me know when you come to Japan to live and we'll play Bloody Raw. I'd love to revisit Bloody Raw. I need to buy Bloody Raw. But again, it's like this. Is Bloody Raw actually that fun on solo? Probably not. I can't remember. I definitely played it though. Bloody Raw 2. I can't remember it as well as you though. Sissima the Chameleon. Jenny the Bat. All I remember is the intro, Bloody Roar 2. Fight. I used to like Jenny the Bat. She's basically just Ivy, but a bat. I always like those characters though. I like Nina Williams and Anna Williams. I like Anna more than Nina. I like Jenny the Bat, I like Ivy. Tekken? Who's my Tekken go to? I don't even know. Oh, I just said Tekken, didn't I? Anna. I like Anna. But who was, who was I probably good at in Tekken? Uh, Eddie Gordo was like great for spamming your way through Tekken 3. You didn't even need to know what you were doing. Just smash X and circle over and over again while pressing forward. Okay, <laughs> Remember Dr. Bot Skonovich? What the fuck was that about? Strange, strange character. Tekken had good lore. Me and my friends used to make up our own lore as well, like trying to follow the storyline a bit. We would make fights, so we'd do like... Um, Ka I can't remember the name now. Kazuya, is it? Kazuya? Kazama? <laughs> Mishima, Kazuya Mishima versus what's the mob called? Jun? Kazama? And then we'd, ha we'd have him her change into like Angel. <laughs> so lame, the things you do when you're like 10 or whatever. But that, they were like action figures for us in a video game form. We'd like play with them, the characters. I did that loads with Star Wars Masters of Terrace Cassie as Kasai, whatever it's called as well. I used to love being Darth Vader in that and force gripping everybody. Thank you for the gentle users. How are you, Matt Matt Matt? Whore versus whore. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Abby Jams play that for the first time in like years. I've never, I've never re-seen really that game. And then, and then the first time it said versus whore, oh, I was dying because I forgot all about that. Is he in the the pig one? Pig soldier. Chewbacca versus whore. Oh. Sub-Zero's on his twat AI. The Tuscan... Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the who's the pig guy then? Wow. Have a Google. If you don't mind, I want to know. Finish him. Oh, first. As soon as you say, I'll know, though, obviously, because you've told me. But yeah, how are you, Matt, Matt, Matt? Thok. That's it. There's a girl as well who's not in the movies. Mara Jade's in it, isn't she? She's a bit random. Doing good, big chilling. Fight. 
Good, good. Certified big deal, yeah. They really like I don't know. What was the problem with the with the new movies? Why why couldn't they like he was right there, you know? Why were they so opposed to that sort of little bit of extended universe? They need to do exactly the same, but could have literally just bought the licenses to the books. Instead of making that mess. Finish him. I've never actually read them though, so I don't even know if they're that good, but I feel like the fans like them. I tried to read Throne of the Empire, is it called? When I was like 12, and it was just too much for me. I read quite a bit of it, but I don't remember it now. But I played the, um... Mysteries of the Sith. And some of Jedi Knight too. She's on twat AI mode as well. Yeah, they were good. I'd love a collection. That isn't limited, strictly come dancing, whatever. Dark Forces, yeah, that had a re release, didn't it? Fight. Fight. Flawless victory. Think about the fighters I played. I played like the teeniest bit of Bushido Blade, but I don't remember it at all. And I tried to. I do have a copy now, and I remember the boot up to test it out. And I'm just like, whoa. Face from Midnight Resistance. <laughs> Have you ever listened to the music? That you know the the soundtrack for for that level is just called like Cow Cow Cow. Face face face. It's <laughs> a great name. That level is special though. I saw your little review thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a level. You can definitely do the game without any power-ups, but it's certainly one that I think you need to drop a cheeky save state and figure out how. It's not fun when the entire game is at stake. Oh, with power-ups, yeah, the game's stupid, but yeah. I actually don't mind the, um, the face bit of the level without power-ups. It's actually quite exhilarating when you really get into the nitty-gritty of it, but it's, it's rough. But the boss is, the boss is stupid. The boss is not good with no power-ups, because he spits all that stuff. I figured out how to do it without, though. But it doesn't feel smooth. You just have to shoot. Um, you have to make sure you don't miss them as they're coming out of his mouth, I think. Yeah. I don't really mind the, la the lead up to the boss, even though it's, it's hard, but it, it can be kind of fun to get good at. But the boss, the boss is just, there's no really nice way to do it without power-ups. But with power-ups it's really easy. Fight. Yeah, I think it's a really good game. It's marred by some technical hiccups. The bow fight's crap. 
Finish him. But I enjoyed it because I thought it was really... The best games for me, like retro games, are ones where... Um, it's like Rocket Knight, where you put it on and you get to like level 2 and it hands you your ass. And then like 20 minutes later, you're able to get to level 4. And then another 20 minutes later, you're like level 6. And then by the time you're next playing it, you're like able to get up to like level 6 without a single continue. It's that sort of, a, the learning curve just feels so good on games like Midnight Resistance. You get just get really good at that game. I can't, I'm, like, if I put it on now, I'd have to learn it all over again, but it's not an ordeal. It, 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 I think it only took me a couple of hours to do Midnight Run, but I went from being, like, awful to really good really quickly. Outstanding. Yeah, it's, it's good. You just learn your little strats. The biggest hurdle is, is picking a control scheme that works for you. I And the, the ones that they suggest are not the ones that I think about. So I can't even remember what I use now. I think... Because that's what makes the final level probably a bit difficult, depending on what control scheme you're using. Because you need, you need the... The control, the rotate and stop control scheme is, uh, I think, is not not good if I remember. Default, I could not do the default. I think I used B. Feel free to check my VOD. I can't, I can't remember what I used, but I'm pretty sure I did not use the default one. I think I found it really awkward. Button to lock aim at auto fire. Um, I definitely have the auto fire on. Stop and start auto firing. Um, I think I had auto, uh, the rotate in. I can't remember that. I think I did use default. I kind of want to know. Oh, maybe it was default. I might be thinking of Atomic Runner. Atomic Runner, I definitely did not use the suggested controls because they were ass. Atomic Runner. I can't remember how it works now. But I had Atomic Runner so that like A was shoot left and B was shoot right, but that's not what they originally had planned. It was like you had to hold down a button and press left and right to change direction or something. It was ugh. Atomic Runner is a hard game. Why don't you play it? I'm sure you'll kick its ass. I think you're a bit better than me at games it seems. Runner is rough because things can just go wrong. Even when you know, things just go wrong because it's kind of it's an auto scroller, but there's a lot of variables. It's very easy to miss your targets because you can't move around the screen much. And there's a couple of choke points that are really bad. If you die in certain places and lose your power-ups, then it gets pretty mean. The game gives you a pity power-up, though, after so many deaths. But that's sometimes what happens. You just get stuck and you need to die like five more times to get the pity power-up. There's, there's like one boss that I absolutely hate and it, you have to do it twice. And then the, the final boss is garbage until you sort of really, really figure out what to do. It's fun though, and it has amazing music. Like a bimbo line. Maybe. I don't feel like I feel input lag much. Right. I do, I did when I went to my brother's and played stuff on his TV. I was feeling horrible lag. But. I don't feel too bad. Fight. Fight. 
I think it's practice. I'm definitely better at these sort of games than I used to be. I've finished a lot of crazy stuff now. So I'm definitely getting better and better at this stuff. I find it easy. I think you just get into a frame of mind as well where you just detect stuff quicker. Yeah, not str streaming is a bit different too because there's a certain element of pressure. And, you know, having a conversation. This is why, like that round, I just totally fluff that because I'm not even thinking. I was still just doing my usual stuff and it's the wrong five. That's not the right button. Finish him. It's a shame because I'd love to watch you play something like Zero Wing. We did Sonic 2 and that went alright. Fight. I think it's something you get used to as well, because I'm used to the fact, and people that are here are used to the fact that I lose. <laughs> I don't always win and it's tough tits, do you know what I mean? Like, six hours last night of this and good night, sorry. But you get into the habit of it. Fight! In, um, in some ways, I kind of hope that's also fun, yeah, part of the appeal, I don't know. My, I've always said like one of my things is I like to sort of show that you can beat these video games. You don't need to be like a speedrunning pro person at every single one of them. Just, just a little bit of perseverance and a couple of cups of coffee. And some choice words. Fight. Helps you motivate trying to... But it's fun it's also fun to have a sense of shared misery, isn't it? <laughs> it's fun to talk about stuff, you know. That's why I've always said to people watching as well, like give it a go. It's it's kind of fun to hear like you, you get what I'm talking about. Bitch, why'd you have to be her? Choice words that start with FSBM. Hey Runix, how are you? Finish him. Do well 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 Beverly Leslie. Good has Mortal Kombat 2 treats and you like it treats everybody like a bitch. Fight. Can you stop doing this jump counter shit? Like I can't even do my strat. <laughs> Miserable garbage. I'll never stop jumping backwards, even though I know I'm not allowed. It's just how I play all 2D fighting games. I jump backwards cause to get the distance, but Mortal Kombat says, No, I'm going to fucking throw a projectile with perfect timed precision. Honestly, I'm starting to feel like Shang Tsung is the worst fight of the game. Just for inconsistency. Is there another way to kill him? <laughs> Six credits. Fight. <laughs> Outstanding. <sighs> Fight. 
fight. Atomic Runner has got some banging music though. It's definitely worth playing. It's one of the better games. It's a sort of slept on game as well, I think, although I think it's been getting a bit more attention lately. It's also a prime example of the kind of game that I would absolutely have never played if not for doing this. I wouldn't have looked at it. visually striking in screenshots. It just doesn't look like my genre. And the name's crap as well. Yeah, he said yesterday. Kung Lao, Johnny Cage and Paul Katana. I like Kung Lao. Fight! Oh, finally, the AI is having a mercy. Poor old Sonya Blade. She was robbed. Fancy cutting her out of this game. What a choice. She's iconic. Her kiss death move, Fatality, is legendary. That's probably why 2 is not as good. See, thanks AI. Thanks for just saying, Alright, I've taken enough of your continues. You may now proceed. I'm going to chill. Ba ba bum 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 bum. Fight. Oh, no. It's been a hot minute. Woo! <laughs> it is, isn't that? Was a gamble if you'll do that. Pass the plunger, hello there, how are you? How was your Castlevania? Have you beat it yet? Thank you so much for the raid. Let's do the other one. Oh, Julio's here as well, hello there. Oh, Resident Evil 2 today, was it? Have you finished Castlevania now, then? Good stuff. Which Resident Evil 2 was it? Was it the remake or the original? Oh, the N64. That's interesting. Is that with your... Is it what, is it what, wife? You, I know you're doing couch sort of co-op commentary on the weekends. Finished in the first two hours. I like to, that's my favourite. Fight! What am I doing? I've gone back onto autopilot mode. This is not how we do, Kintaro. But hello, everybody who's just come in. Nutty Jawa, hello there. Gaz Halley. We're passing the plunger. I'm trying to beat all the Mega Drive games and I'm trying to, yeah. This is happening. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2 is doing what Mortal Kombat 2 does. Fight. <laughs> Uh, 
Have an MD with a sticker on it, the smoke, yeah, smoking, who needs it? I had it on two games, I think. It was on my Story of Thor and my Light Crusader. It's quite late. I did no worries, thank you again for the raid. Do follow past the plunger. Plays lots of really cool stuff. Another British streamer. I don't get to watch as much as I'd like because of the time zones. It's always fun in the morning. I'm, I sometimes catch it on my way to work on the subway. <laughs> Sometimes just jump kicking is working. <laughs> Sub Zero, Scorpion, Reptile, Kung Lao are the ones you used in Mortal Kombat 2. I mean, I like Sub Zero. I think he's been usually my go to, but he just doesn't work in this game. She can't use his eyes. I mean, I think you can against Kintaro because he doesn't seem to enjoy projectiles. But I'm, I'm so stubborn now. I want to win as Liu Kang. The whole game. Oh, get away! You piece of garbage! Oh, but, but thank you so much for the Prime, it's very kind of you. Hello there, Matt Video Games. How are you, both of you? What an entrance. You lurking, thank you for the lurk, I appreciate those as well. He will not behave. Am I winning? Yes. Oh my god. My neighbours are an absolute joke. I can hear their washing machine going on the balcony. It is two in the fucking morning. How selfish can you be? Right. <laughs> Utterly ridiculous people. They're not Japanese. Tip over the balcony. No, because they're two, they're two rooms down. It's sort of an unspoken rule. That is sometimes spoken. I mean, in the past, there's been completely. But I remember quite a few years ago, there was a letter right. about don't do it. But they're new. Well, not that new, but they also was just rude. But they've done it late before, but two in the morning is is a whole new one. This is just ridiculous because it's really noisy, and they will be in their room, and obviously doesn't occur to them to even care to think like, that's really loud, isn't it? And it's two in the morning, and lots of other people live in this building. Just, I don't care, I'm doing my laundry. Okay, Kintaro, can you calm down, please? Hello there, guys. Some people, no, they don't. It's just all about you. I sleep every night with brown noise playing now because they are noisy and they wake me up because they bang suddenly. They're not even next to me but they're just that loud. 
charge moves in MK, so much for that. But, mm, I don't know about every character, but yeah. It's just forward, forwards attack, I think. <clears throat> Kintaro's got his own rules. You will die. Right, here we go. <laughs> here we don't go. Excuse me? Maybe just Melina. You will die. Fight. What's up with that guy's shadow? It's half a meter off. Because he's too tall, I guess. I think it's uh, game over. You will die. Fight. I just I need to get there with more continues, but Shang Tsung took them all. Shang Tsung took about eight continues, I think. Fight. Why did you pick Melina anyway? Just because you like her? Just like her. See, I was going to be Sub Zero, but when I realised I can't freeze anybody, I stopped. Fight. And Scorpio. I like Scorpio, but he's really slow. And his get over here move is really bad with him. You don't know that well. Did you ever watch the movies? I was really into this, the franchise when I was younger. We used to watch the, the film. And Annihilation. I loved Annihilation at the time, it's not very good now. I don't think I ever saw the animated thing. The first film was cool. One of the better video game adaptations, I think. Is there a new Mortal Kombat film? I know that I saw a, I think I saw a trailer for a Mortal Kombat 2. I think I totally missed the existence of the other one. Finish him. Do you know what I wouldn't mind watching is Mortal Kombat Conquest, that TV series. Isn't that wild that that existed? Wait, there was an animated series as well, wasn't there? That was like aimed at kids. Like how weird. Like X-Men. Fight. Fight. 
Oh, the old one. The old one's got camp style, which really suits the yeah, it suits the game. I almost think with Mortal Kombat, like you know the modern games as well. I think the roster's too big. I think they need to they don't need to keep making all these new throwaway characters. Finish him. I played the reboot one and there's just so many people. Like Air Mac and Rain and Who's the psychic one that wears a blindfold? He's pretty cool, but yeah, his fatality's nasty. K2 Flawless Victory Fight. How amazing is the logo though? Like what a genius design. It's so simple but it's so iconic. Everybody knows that. Is it was it made in did the original one use it? Block mode. There goes my chain. Fight. And when the AI switches to that. Fatality indeed. soul is mine. Where did that come from? Is that from the movie only? Is that where it first started? Fight.
fight. They do love to do the stage fatalities, don't they? The, the AIs. Fight. Oh, now she's on the chill AI. That's nice. Why is the bicycle kick not going off? I was reading about Mortal Kombat 3 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 today, and my memory is all the, um, the voices, the Liu Kang wins, fatality. I think that must be Mortal Kombat 3, because it seems like they removed them from Ultimate Mortal Kombat to make space, which is a shame. Fight. Round 1. <laughs> Girl, please. They also brought back the endurance rounds, I think, in the next one. Which they don't have in this one for some reason. You know, like the destroy the. Well, actually, maybe not. Is that just the first one where you destroy the the blocks, like Street Fighter or something? The Test Your Might. Test Your Might, that was it, isn't it? Because it's in the, the uh, Mortal Kombat song. When I was looking it up, though. I got flashbacks of how horrible 3 can be because you have to do the tag team matches, don't you? Bugger. 
come here. Why did they change that line? Fight. <laughs> Oh, I unblock mode. Finish him. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I want to see Scorpion's fatality. Also, the arrangers changed for three as well. Because it's Matt Furness in one and two, but not not the other. It seems. I bet the music goes down. Cause this sounds really good. Fight. Music's good. It's got good sounds. Like you know, it's definitely not something I would listen to outside of a video game, but it functions really well. It sounds pleasant, especially on Mega Drive, because a lot of these North American games don't. Right. But the composer is British, I think. So. Raiden wins. Is it? Am I right? Is Raiden missing from three? I think that was one of the big deals. But then I think he's back for ultimate. I think it was a huge loss him not being in that one. I never played much of two, so I think for me Raiden was always just Mortal Kombat one. And Barak is not in one and three. Fight. I want to. I want to do it once. Or should we? Let's just do his dragon one. Actually, what is it? Down, forwards, backwards, backwards. Oh no! I press punches at a kick. Whoops. Who is that in the background? Is it supposed to be Noob Cybot? The one that's on fire. Fight. Smoke. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing the wrong, wrong sound. Sun strap. Fight. I did like how much lore they put in. Not lore. How much uh, secrets and stuff they put in the games. Fort Jade didn't rush was in this one. Did you do it deliberately? Did you know what you did? You have to do something. There's two secret characters, I think. There's uh I think Rain is in it as well. I think Rain you have to win like twenty five games or something, I don't know. I think you can do Jade now by pressing down and something. In fact, let's have a look. Uh, 
So we're not on. Oops. Do you have to press down and B or something? But there's some criteria. She is fought by defeating the opponent before the question mark with only the lower kick button. That's why you fought her then, because you just kept jumping with low kick, I guess. Fight. So it's too late for me. Should have tried. But do I even want do I want to fight her? <laughs> no, you have to beat the the opponent before by only pressing L lower kick. Presumably, if you're just jumping and kicking. Fight. Oh, okay. I'll try. If we get another game over. Oh, for fuck's sake, bitch. No, it's not. I hate when you change into her. Finish him. Smoke is in it. A male ninja, blah, 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 blah. Smoke is for pressing down and start when Dan Fordham pops up in the bottom right corner and shouts, Toasty, in the portal stage. And Noob Cybot is a dark silhouetted ninja. He's fought by winning 25 two player matches in a row. Stop being a <sighs> It's hard to do the jump kick strap when he closes the gap on you because I can't move away. Because if I jump he shoots. And he shapeshifts into somebody that counters jump attacks. That's when it's also, well, buggered now. Liu Kang, Melina, Katana, Barak. to burn so many credits on him until he, the AI decides to just let me win. Right now. That's a nice start.
dick. That was a rude block. Fight. Fight! Fight! Oh, really, bitch? You're gonna just do that back to back? Shit when you do Oh my god. You will die. Fight. You will die. You will 
this ramming me into the corner and doing that move back to back is disgusting. Cut it out. You will die. Fight. You will die. You will die. Yes! Get out of here, Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn's rule is over. Once again, you are the supreme mortal combat warrior. With his Shaolin temple in ruins, Liu Kang journeys into the outer world. He enters Shao Kahn's tournament of the Legion of the Shao Kahn. Liu Kang then returns to the execution of his Shaolin temple of his obsession with Lost Brothers. He finally realizes that the events which have taken place for all fulfillment of his destiny. What's the rush ending? <laughs> I'm barely even like bothered though. You know what I mean? I'm just like, yep, yeah, I won. Okay, finally. The AI just kind of let me get away with it. Special thanks to Tiny Bubbles Beckwith. It just feels like such a an empty victory. <laughs> bye bye. I'm glad I did it as Liu Kang though. That's what I'm sort of chuffed about. Stop the timer. You can't play it like it's supposed to be played and expect to win. Yeah, it just feels like... Yeah. I'm kind of curious about Jade now, though. Is it worth it? I'm curious. How hard is very hard? Fight! So very hard just seems like it just is block mode. Fight. 
Shall we move on with our lives from Mortal Kombat 2? Or shall I do Jade? I don't think I can be asked. Is there anything to see? Let's call that done. Bam bam. <laughs> 